Hi everyone and happy late Valentine's Day. I know Valentine's Day was yesterday. Um, I wish I would have been able to film this yesterday. Actually, I was trying to, but unfortunately I didn't have enough time, uh, but we're here today. And yeah, so let's get started. So my name is Ali J. Well, it's Alejandra, but a lot of people can't pronounce it, so they call me Ali for shorter. Um, the J is for my middle name. And so, yeah, let me tell you, I was very, 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 very afraid of making this video. Um, I wasn't even sure if I should continue to do it. I had mentioned this idea I had about um, making this channel and this precise video to my boyfriend and a good friend of mine, and they both thought it was a good idea. Um, my friend is actually um, a YouTuber. He actually has his own channel on YouTube, and he encouraged me to do it. So with that being said, this video will be just content, um, letting you guys know is more about what my video is going to consist of, and also giving you guys a brief um, backstory uh, about me and why I decided to do this channel or this video, especially this video. So as you can see on the description below, it says, let's get fit together. And that's exactly what I want to do. Um, I do want to get fit, but I also lack motivation. So with that being said, I need someone to keep me accountable and keep me motivated. And I feel like doing this with you guys will be good. You know, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where, you know, it's like, um, I would, sorry, there was a squirrel outside. Where was I? Okay, yeah. So <laughs> I saw a lot of YouTube videos of, you know, weight loss journeys and, you know, fit videos, like fitness videos of like, you know, influencers that, um, you know, sh share their workouts with you. And and they're very motivational. They are, because trust me, they have, a couple of them have motivated me to give my ass up and go work out. Um, but the difference is that I want to, you know, with them is they start once they have not completed their journey, but they're like, a good, in like in a good point of their journey. And I don't want that. I want you guys to see me accomplish my goal at the same time. I don't want you guys to see it after. I want to talk to you guys while I'm doing it. I want to tell you guys where, where I fell, what went right, what went wrong, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to tell you that it's not easy. It's not easy staying motivated. It's not easy um, wanting to do it, you know, and I want this to be, you know, mainly for like, you know, people that's, you know, that suffer with self-image, um, weight or whatever, you know, that lack motivation. I myself am not happy with, and I haven't been happy with my image of who I am, how I look like for a very, very, very long time. Um, I think it all started back in 2013 when I started gaining a little bit of weight. I used to be the tiniest person you could think, well, and I wouldn't say that you could think of because I'm pretty sure there was people or there are people that were smaller than me back then but I was one of the smallest ones in my group of friends, one of them, because I, you know, it, I was one of them. I've always been in the weight range of 99 pounds to 120 has always been the most I've ever weighted. So it wasn't a little bit until after high school that I started gaining weight. Um, so I went from one, from weighing like 115, 120 to 130. When I hit that 130, I knew that I, something was going on. Like, to me, that was a lot. You know, now I wish I could wait 130. Back then, it was like, oh my God, I do not want to wait that much. So I actually did something about it. Um, 
It was in 2014 when I started working out with my best friend. And back then we had a very flexible schedule, both of us. So sometimes I would work out twice, twice a day. Like I would work out with her in the mornings and then in the afternoon, I would go and work out with my cousin. You know, um, she did Zumba and I enjoy Zumba. It's, I feel like it's a fun way to get your cardio in, right? So I would do that with her. By May of 2014, I lost 15 pounds. Um, I lost 15 pounds. I was fine with the way I was. Um, you know, I back then I just wanted to be skinny. And I'm not saying that, you know, you need to be skinny to be beautiful because you don't. That's just something, you know, I needed to do for myself and what I felt like I needed it. You know, like what I felt was right for me. So it was then, and then towards the end of 2014, I started gaining my weight back. So I slowly started gaining weight and I decided, and I decided not to do anything about it. I guess I just ignored it and I wasn't seeing it exactly how others were, were seeing it. You know, my mom would give me like low key blows, like, um, you know, like, how she didn't like certain clothes looked on me and I thought she was it was just her being a bitch but it wasn't you know it was just her like letting me know but you know I used to take it as annoying I used to like not listen to her so I've gained so much weight that it's made me very depressed um there's days where I break down. There's days where I don't want to do anything just because I don't like the way I look like. I don't like how um, certain clothes fits me. And, you know, y'all girl loves to shop. I love going shopping. And I haven't done that in a long, a long time. Like, I don't know when's the last time that I actually went shopping just to go, you know, because I wanted something. Every time I step foot in the mall and go look at clothes that I like, I come out mad or sad because they don't fit me the way I wish they fit me. So, you know, and that's not fun for a girl. Like, you know, if you're a girl, you know what I'm talking about. And most of you might understand that feeling, you know. So so last year, well, not last year, um, back in 2017, I would say, um, I decided to try this kickboxing class with my best friend, well, with a really good friend of mine. And, um, yeah, like, so <laughs> we fell on going, we wouldn't go as much. Um, it had to do with the trainers actually. Well, it had to do with us being lazy and the trainers, um, Again, like, it's really hard to stay motivated. It's really hard to want to get up, go work out. Like, I know it's a drag. Trust me, I know. I would rather be sitting down, watching TV, eating chips or something, right? So we tried the kickboxing. Um, I liked it. I did not like the trainers that well. Like, I like one of them, but he would only train twice a week. So with that being said, we would only go to the gym like twice a week or sometimes once a week because sometimes we couldn't make it one of those other days. And the rest of the week, it was another trainer who we really didn't like, right? Anyways, so we ended up canceling our membership. We stopped We stopped going and that was it. That was the end of it. And it wasn't until last year, beginning of last year of 2018, that me and her we're talking and I had told her that I wanted to like, you know, sign back up to our original gym and try working out, you know, again and losing some weight. So she said she wanted to join me and I was like, okay. And let me tell you, my friend is very skinny. Like she is very, very tiny. Like this girl had two kids and is so, so tiny. Um, she does have her little like baby fat, baby belly. I don't know what you moms call it, but yeah. So I think that's what she wanted to get rid of. She also, um, you know, wanted to like build muscle and whatnot. So we do have this really good friend of ours. Um, he is actually very familiar with the gym, with fitness and all that good stuff. 
So I reached out to him to help me out in this so-called weight loss journey. And you know, it's funny because back then it was like, oh, new year, new me. Like, I want to look good. Like, I want to get ready for the summer. And honestly, that summer, I think I had like a couple trips planned. I know that that year in May, um, yeah, actually last year in May, um, some of you might be familiar with this, like if you're into the whole um, festival thing and like EDM world. Um, I actually went to EDC Las Vegas with my boyfriend in May. So I knew I was going to go. So that was like my goal. I was like, oh, I want to be like fit. I want to be this. And I want to, because, you know, I'm like, I want to wear this, this and that. So that was like my motivation to go to the gym. So I reached out to him and he was like, oh, no, yeah, you know, like, so we arranged the dates. We arranged from Monday to work out Monday through Thursday because I did not want to work out on Fridays. Like, <sighs> Fridays is just like, I wanted to hang out, you know, like I wanted to go out with my friends or hang out with my boyfriend. So I was like, you know what? Four days is fine. Um, I would try to go most of the days. Some days I would get out of work and I wouldn't go. Or some days I would just lie to him and be like, oh, you know, I'm getting out of, out of you know, I would be here texting him, be like, hey, I'm going to get out of work late. I don't think I can make it. And I'll be like in the car about to go home. <laughs> so, Alan, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I did lie to you a couple of times. But, yeah, my bad. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, like, you know, we tend to do and put all these excuses not to go to the gym or not to work out. But at the same time, we expect to look a certain way. And, you know, we're not going to accomplish that just by sitting on the couch or eating. You know, we're not. So, um, so yeah. So, like, he actually helped me out, though. Like, besides me making up these BS excuses, he took me. Um, he didn't take me anywhere. He took me to the gym. But, um, no, like. I saw small changes in myself. Um, they weren't big, they weren't huge, but they were small. And I try to like celebrate those small changes or you know progress because I noticed that you know a big key and a big factor that makes us lose motivation and stop doing what we're doing is the fact that we're not seeing the results that we want to see within the time frame that we put ourselves in. You know, it takes time to get to where you want to be. It takes time to lose weight. It takes time to gain strength, to build muscle. Like, it takes time. Like, it took me a while to understand that we have to believe and trust the process. Stay committed and stay disciplined because that's the only way you're going to accomplish your fitness goal. That's the only way. If you don't stay consistent, if you don't stay disciplined, and if you do not believe or trust the process, you will not see any results. Trust me. And it doesn't matter if you finally are able to lift a 10 weight dumbbell or whatever or if you went out for a walk celebrate that because that's one step closer to achieving your goal than sitting on the couch so yeah so you know like with him I had, like you know so I did um notice those small changes like my strength got better um he helped me perfect my form like, you know, um, I did lose a couple pounds. It wasn't big, nothing big like that. But then he couldn't continue to, you know, work with me or train me for uh, whatever reasons. So I tried to stay motivated. I couldn't stay motivated. I just didn't want to go to the gym. I was like, whatever. I was lazy. I just... It wasn't until August of last year that I was on Facebook and I saw this um, thing called burn boot camp they're actually pretty new and it's a gym it's a gym and I saw it on Facebook they're like oh you know do 14 days free trial no charge no whatever no strings attached so I was like okay you know like um 
I want to try it, you know, I was like, I want to see what it's about. I went and let me tell you guys, I loved this gem. For the very first time in my life, this is the first gem that has ever gotten me to go to the gym by myself without needing anyone to go with me. Like, I just love them. Like, their workouts are amazing. I love their workouts. I like the fact that they have modifications for to fit your ability. Like, they have modifications for push-ups, for burpees, for whatever it is, workout that they're doing that day. They will show you how to do it. And then if that's too hard for you, they will show you a different way to do it. And that's what I really like about that. And on top of that, they make you feel so much welcome in there and they also meet with you every three weeks they encourage you to meet every three weeks um for a follow-up you know like for it's called the focus meeting so your first meeting obviously you know you tell them your goal they weight you they measure you they take your body fat all that good stuff and then every three weeks they do the same thing like you have to make an appointment with the trainer um every three weeks and then you know they have a sheet where they write all that down so that you can actually see your process you know i'm um, not process progress okay so yeah so i really like them i did their 14 weeks then the 14 weeks ended then um i saw that they were doing a six-week challenge for 99 dollars. so i went ahead signed up and did that i'm telling you like i really liked it um i didn't go as i tried to go like maybe like the whole week. I think the most I went was four days out of the week. Actually, no, that's a lot. I didn't go four days out of the week. I went five days out of the week. And then I went to four and then I did three. So I stayed at going at least three times a week just because I wasn't able to do the the full week for other reasons. Um, I did not eat the way I was supposed to eat. So I didn't see as good results as other girls in there. But I didn't let that um, disencourage me. The trainers are really good to motivate you. So I did that and then it ended. <sighs> Took me like about two weeks to go back. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Like, I'm going to lose weight. Like, finally found a gym that I can go to, that I don't need like a friend or anyone to go with me so that, you know, I can go. Um, so I went, I signed up. Again, I signed up on the wrong time because during this time, I tend to get really busy with work. My schedule is just very difficult around that time of year. And so it led to the point where I, was, I wasn't I was even able to go sometimes, or sometimes I would only be able to go once a week. So, you know, they have different kinds of memberships. I got the student membership because I am a student. So with that being said, then I stopped going and yeah, so <laughs> I was paying without going. Like, I was just giving them my money, like, hey, you know, but <laughs> um, what can I say? I ended up canceling it. Um, so it wasn't until December, like, towards the end of December, that I had a conversation with my boyfriend. And, you know, I told him, I'm like, you know, I do not want to continue like this. Like, I want to be, feel happy with myself and with the way I look like. You know, I just want to better myself, um, not just for self-image, but like, you know, health, health reasons. You know, I don't want to have any health issues. And if this is the time, like I need to take action, then, hey, let's do it. Right. So I told him that I was going to get that I wanted to try the keto diet. You know, I've always tried diet, well, been on diets. Uh, <laughs> I never actually followed through them. Like, I think the, the longest I've ever actually stayed on a diet it's been like maybe two weeks but after that I'm like uh, I don't want to do this anymore especially when you have like your best friend and your cousin texting you at like nine or eight at night like hey let's go get ice cream do you guys want to come get ice cream and I'm over here like sure let's go like who says no to ice cream right so yeah that that's not helpful <laughs> so yeah, so I told him and, you know, I let my friends know, like, don't invite me, don't text me to go get ice cream, none of that, because I'm not going. Like, I 
need you guys to be good friends and support me. I literally told them that. I think I messaged, like, we have, like, a little group group message. So I, like, messaged them that. <laughs> They've been good so far. Um, but, yeah, so my boyfriend is, honestly, guys, like, if you have a significant other or if you don't, it's okay. But if you do... And they support you and motivate you to accomplish whatever it is that you are trying to do, you know, be thankful because a lot of people don't have that. You know, a lot of people are, you know, may not have a significant other or may not have a friend to motivate them. Or some people might have a significant other, but that significant other doesn't like encourage them or doesn't support them you know, and it's really hard. So I am very thankful for my boyfriend that, you know, he's been very patient with me. He's been very helpful and supportive. So when I told him this, he decided that he wanted to like, you know, join me in my journey of, you know, doing this diet and also working out. Um, it is sad to say that, you know, I feel really bad because Although it's helped me so, so, so much to stay on track and stay disciplined because we help each other stay um, motivated. And not just motivated, but we, we, we keep each other accountable, right? So, you know, whenever we go out to eat, it makes it easier because I'm not seeing him, like, you know, stuff a big-ass burger down his throat while I'm over here, like, eating veggies or, you know, whatever. So it helps me a lot. So, you know, we always look for like places that we can go that might have something that we can eat or whatever, you know? But it is very sad to say that, you know, he has gotten a lot of negative feedback um, because a lot of people think that I am forcing him or he's doing this because of me. I just need to get out there. He decided to do it on his own. He decided to do it because I brought it up to the table and because he wants to support me, but I never made him do anything. And the reason I'm saying this, like, you're probably like, okay, this is getting kind of off topic. No, the reason I'm saying this and I'm bringing this right now is because people are so, so negative. People will always have something to say, you know, always, you know, like, I just don't understand. People will are not happy seeing you do something good for yourself, that they find the need to come at you with nothing but negativity. So with that being said, don't let those people take control of your life. Don't let that person tell you, you can't go outside and run. Don't tell that person, tell you that why are you running or why are you taking a walk if you're not, that's not going to help you. Like, just don't like, or whatever it is, any negative comments, push them out. You know what? Sum them out. Let them talk. Because whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it for your own good. You're not doing enough for them. Okay? And that's taken me a long time, like a long, long time to actually accept. You know? And just let people talk. People will always talk. People will always be negative. There's always those people that just can't see you happy or they just can't see you doing see you doing better for yourself. You know? And those are just sad people. Just see them as that, as sad people. You know? And um so yeah, like, you know, and the reason I'm saying that is because I myself have gotten like really bad like negative comments, you know, where you know, this happened like two years ago that, well, like for the, the past two years, it's been happening where, you know, f like strangers coming up to me, asking me if I'm pregnant or how far along are you? Or like, oh my God, you're pregnant. Like, you know, one time I went to go get my eyebrows done and the lady was like, oh my God, you're pregnant. How? Like, you know, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just fat. And she just looked at me like, oh, sh thing, like, Oh, like, like literally like that. She did not know what to say. And all I could do was smile at her and be like, it's okay. Like, I just, 
I was like, it's fine, but I'm not pregnant. And I started laughing because I was not, I was not about to see her. I was not about to let her see me break down. But I will tell you that that day after I got out, I called my boyfriend and broke down, started crying and telling him how I felt. Because, you know, I can sit here and tell you, like, don't let those negative comments get to you. But it's really hard to tune them out or, you know, it's really hard. So, but all we can do is work towards that and just use that as encouragement, use that as motivation. And it took me a while, you know, like now if people are like telling me like, oh, you know, I don't like the way you look or, you know, you're kind of gaining some weight. It's like, yeah, I know. I just love food. What can I say? You know, <laughs> you know, it's just like, I know, but I'm not going to let it get to me. That's why with all that, that they've told my boyfriend or small little comments like, oh, did you get her pregnant? Is that why you're with her? Or you know, all these negative comments, like if you are watching and you are one of those people, just let him be. And he's with me for whatever reasons. He, Those are his reasons. Okay. And no, I'm not pregnant. Okay. I'm just fat. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. So yeah, like I just want you guys to stay motivated and I want to do this with you guys. And I want you guys to do this with me. Um, what I want my video to consist of is, sorry if I'm moving a lot, like, I just, I just can't stay still for so long, to be honest, like, is that just me, or is that you guys too? Anyways, so yeah, so like I was saying, um, my video, I want you guys to see me, you know, succeed, see, follow me on my weight loss journey, if you guys want to jump aboard, and do it with me too, leaving me comments, or hey, we can do this together. You can like hit me up and be like, hey, like I went to the gym today. I did this, this and that, you know, it will help each other out. because now with this being said, I have someone or not someone, I have all of you guys to keep me accountable because I can't sit here and tell you I'm going to do this, this and that because I want to motivate you and then stop doing it and not see any results. Like I want you guys to see my results. I, you know, I want you guys to follow me on this and, you know, see me accomplish my goal. And hey, like, it doesn't have to be all about fitness. Like, if I've helped you with this video, like, hey, like, you know, you're going to go take a walk right now, then good for you. Or if you want to go into the gym and take a run, that's also good. You know, like, I want to make these videos to motivate you guys to help you guys out that are suffering with self-image or just suffering in life, you know, like if you guys want, need me to talk to you guys about anything or like want to hear my opinion on a certain topic, like let me know down below on the comments. Also, let me know what kind of, what other type of content you guys would like to hear, whether it's fitness, um, life, relationships, what to eat, like anything you guys want to see, let me know. I am trying to make this more about like, you know, fitness and self-image and beauty and all that. But I am very open to any ideas or any topics that you guys want to discuss on here. Like, again, I want to do this to reach out for anyone that's suffering, that's, you know, in a bad moment and needs some motivational, like, you know, words, words of encouragement, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, like, let me know on the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and I will see you on my next video. Oh, wait, 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 real quick, before I forget, I will try to upload at least once or twice a week. I would say once just because I am in school, so it's kind of hard. But I will try to like um, upload once a week. I will do videos of me working now so you guys can see what kind of workouts I do at the gym. Um, I am not an expert, guys. So, you know, like if I'm doing my form wrong or whatever, like I'm learning with you guys. <laughs> like if you guys have like, you know, you guys see any of my videos and you just like, oh, you know, you could do this or that or have any ideas of different workouts. Let me know. Like 
I will do them. <laughs> and you know, I know I said I was ending this video, but one more thing. If you want to go to the gym, but you're scared because um, or intimidated because there's all these people that know what they're doing and you don't want to seem dumb while you're doing it, whatever, just go. Because honestly, that's my biggest fear. But we're never going to learn if we don't go. I'm pretty sure those people started the same way we did, not knowing what to do, doing the machines wrong, you know. Trust me, I've I've looked pretty dumb in some of those things. But hey, that's how we learn, right? So yes, um, let me know. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And I hope that I helped you with this small little story of me to motivate you um, and understand that anything is possible. And if I can do it, you can do it too. And we should do this together. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.